are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. Hmm. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart racing excitement has oh? blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Wait, already? Oh! Uh, who is it? I oh, I have to choose. I don't know. Good thing I saved. Oh, thanks a lot. I needed that. Oh, whatever. God, thank you. Thank you, Monokuma. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear these words leaving my mouth. Sorry about that. I was just told I have an errand to run in about um, one hour. One hour. Yeah, two hours. Yeah, around that. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Oh, wait a minute. I knew something was off. I knew something was off with this. Uh, yes, uh, of course. You don't. It? What kind of a reaction is that? You don't know the culprit. The, the culprit, you say? Uh, yes, of course I know. Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you don't know who killed who killed who? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? He doesn't! This is a first! This is another fucking first! Wow, this this class trial is just throwing out firsts left and right. What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either? If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait. This case? Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Okay, I'm going to say because I have no idea what it was. <laughs> Help me, please. I'm suffering. <laughs> this class trial is fucking with my mind. Huh? What are you talking about? Was it to expose something? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. He was trying to expose. Alright. What if that premise is wrong? But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? Yeah. That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden things strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. I mean, that would make sense. He always does that. Kokichi probably used the electro bomb to scramble whatever that was. Oh. The electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Then how did how did he record that? Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Again, that premise could be wrong now that I think about it. Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols... Yeah? Yes. The Exosols <gasps> were protecting Monokuma. They, they were keeping him there! They were watch- admiring him, bullying him. No, they were watching him! That's it! Right! Monokuma. They were making sure Monokuma never left his spot. 
Holy shit, this is turning out to be another fucking plot twist. Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh! At the time, the exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Again, I'm sorry, when I have to- were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I'm terribly sorry about all the breaks. This, as I said before, these are busy days. <laughs> they would have been scanning the area, watching us. But True. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. Yes, they were. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Oh! Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. Again, as I said, um, when I'm talking a little less loud, uh, I can't do Monokuma's voice effectively. So we're gonna, you're gonna have to settle for bootleg Monokuma. <laughs> In which case, it could only be Maki. Right. Um, oh. To summarize this discussion. Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is. How are we gonna do this then? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Hey, calm down, Himiko. No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. Yeah, that's what we can deduce from this. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Oh no. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! It's Kokichi, come on. I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... Oh, all me, me. Baby. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Oh my god. Right. He's a remnant of despair. But we forget that. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's the mastermind. Oh, shit. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Kokichi was a remnant of despair. I can't answer that without causing problems, because I gotta run this trial fair and sweat. Even more reason to give us the answer. Now. <laughs> if you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. And that would make it unfair. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us. Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? Just say it. You're being way too forward. Aren't you normally the forward one? Oh? Uh. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Oh? Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. Wow, never thought I'd hear Monokuma say that. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he is not the mastermind. Call it. Oh, Calm down. Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. I knew it. We still haven't gotten to Class Trial 6. The mastermind will only be revealed there. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Again. Yeah. That is what that would mean. 
with the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Right. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. From Kichi's own deductions. He did say that. You wanna know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lines, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how did he control them so easily? That's actually a fair point. How did he get the, the remote? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Excuse me? Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device! You cannot be serious! Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the Exosols and took them for a spin! Wow! Isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it! Oh. I offered up that info purely out of spite! <laughs> I knew it! Spike towards you for trying to usurp the Mastermind's role and take over the game! Wow! Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. And they are. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? I mean, doesn't does it surprise you, really? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? <laughs> now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Oh, Himiko. You aren't even half done with this. But if he's not the mastermind, who is? Hmm, I wonder. Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Because we're not dumb? What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know! But I wanna know! The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Oshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. There it is. So who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on. Oh, it would have been perfect if Monokuma said it's too early for you kids to be deducing stuff like that. This last trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So yeah, get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is. Let's figure out the culprit! But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? A fantastic question! We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. But, you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Okay... Are you trying to get me to do something? Wow! You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. What? Huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain too. This will be the final class trial. Oh? Me versus Monokuma. Oh, oh my god, this is getting crazy. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to Yes, you said that before. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the truth. Okay. And that's how I'll win. That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma. If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner. Wow, you're stupidly confident. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. It's Kokichi! But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. 
You really are a remnant of the spell. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. It really is. I don't think he knows these concepts. Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others for that matter. Why is he on our side? I don't get this. This is so confusing. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. So he really is. Oh my god, I don't know. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? I know it's obvious, but I don't know why. What's, what's the deal? Monokuma joins your party! Oh, sorry about that, I had to cut the episode for a bit because people started appearing at my window and, s and screaming very loudly. Shall we? What?! <laughs> Who invited you?! <gasps> Buzz! <laughs> you can't be serious. Also again, I'm sorry for the lack of energy. I told you guys this in the last episode. Oh, the last recording session I had, but I didn't sleep very well last night, so I can't even laugh to my fullest. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. I can't believe this guy is taking our side because he doesn't know what happened. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. It's so dumb and I love it. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore <laughs> you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. Oh, have we? He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? He is. In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it! That's actually true. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Which one was it? Um, it's gotta be something that we haven't touched upon yet. Let's see. Du, 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 du. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. Is it this? I don't know. I already know about that. We, we, we need evidence of what I don't know about. Oh god, I don't- I really don't. I don't know! The safety function? No. The hydraulic press? No. I don't know this. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed again? Alright. I was kind of concerned that I failed. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. I was kind of worried that I didn't get it right, honestly. Okay. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim, but we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. That's true. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? 
who the victim was? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. True. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true! No, <laughs> stop. Trying to fit in after all. You get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Aww. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. I don't believe you. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us this video must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder but keeping the victim's identity hidden? What does it show? What doesn't it show? Oh, okay, uh... Pretty sure it's a mine mine or a hangman's gambit. But I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a hangman's gambit. Yep. It's like I knew it. Oh, okay, this one is super easy. I don't even need to think. I don't even need to think about this one. GG easy. The victim. Of course. Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body. We would still believe Kaito was the victim. Again, sorry for any incoming cars. <laughs> oh. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switch? Wait a minute. That would mean that it wasn't even Kokichi trying this bullshit after all. Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? Oh, that's a fantastic question, actually. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. Yeah, there wasn't any body. Then we could guess the victim was Switch. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! Why? Ugh. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? It has pause, that's enough. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! <laughs> Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Maki! Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See? You don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. Oh? So we can't just give up here. Let's go. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. Let's so, go. Can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is alive or not? Let's do this. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't want that. Maki. Okay, then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Kimiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Aww. Oh, uh... Oh. This is so wholesome. Let's talk it over together. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. Probably. However, if the victims were switched, 
Then that would mean the footage was altered. No. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switch places. It's so easy. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. But Peachy made it, so it's 100% suspicious. Hmm, a trick to that video. Stop. Don't you find it weird? What could it be? What's suspicious about it? Oh, hope versus despair. Let's go. All right. Must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out. All right. There is no trick. Hmm. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. All right. Does that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Oh no. Was it really Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. Hmm. When the hydraulic press stopped for a bit. Aha! But the video was shot at another location? No, it's not possible. What about you? I feel like someone said something that gives a clue. If we put our heads together, we can find the smallest hope. We won't fall into despair. I think I know which one it is. It's not the camera angle. It's not this? Wait, no, I didn't even hit it. Oh, I'm dumb. Let's go, come on, hurry up. Come on, I'm, I'm actually on a tight schedule, honestly. Here we go, come on. There we go! Something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Yes, it is. Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press. Hmm. Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video. In the video, it stops for a second. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back because I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> the hydraulic press stopped briefly, right before it crushed the body? And we are back with your regularly scheduled class trial. Indeed. Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. Mine, mine. Let's do this. My mine is one of those games that's so weird. Hmm? What is that? Oh, that's an exosol? Hold on, I'm gonna pause for a second just to make sure everything is still ongoing. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Let's keep going then. Oh, I'd forgotten how... Alright. I don't think it's that. Oh? What is this? I don't think it's that as well. Ah, there we go. Oh no. I don't want it to, to be the like the, the last one. I think it was this. There we go. I see it. I see it. I think I'm getting the hang of V3 finally. The only way 
to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. Oh. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. I don't really remember. Hmm. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a set. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? You can if you pause the recording. That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been cut on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Ah, yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. Hangman's Gambit? Mine, mine again. Okay, I did not expect that, honestly. I just need to find the camera. Here we are. Need to be careful. That's a lot of seconds. <laughs> there we go. I didn't even need to see the rest. I see it. Seriously, why why what is this case's infatuation the for making What's the infatuation of this case for making me get things right the first time? Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. All right. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. Ooh, right. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. And then pause. Seriously? Did you ever say that? Yeah, exactly. So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. Hmm. Now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Oh. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Of course it had. It, let's, let's pin that down. Where was that camera set up? So. I just need to see the angle at which it was recorded. If I reverse it from there, I should be able to see where it was. Don't fail me now, geometry. It should have been... Uh, where is the hydraulic press? It's here. It's here! There. I knew it! The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. True. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera yeah, huh? Looks like your cosplayer Oh. I guess it doesn't. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. Right, because that way we couldn't see the switch. Well, notice the difference, it's just the arm. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position, so it would produce that angle. Yep. Just the camera's height. Hmm. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. <laughs> 4D pockets? You don't get to make that reference. Wow. Okay, Himiko. That logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. 
In that case, Kaito is alive. Or he was crushed by the press. He was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive. Well, wait just a minute. Okay. <laughs> what? But I just summed it up so nicely. Oh. Himiko, the different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ler nervous laughter. <laughs> right, he is the mastermind, right? <laughs> uh. Wait, the mastermind? Yeah. Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so. So there was only one body available to switch. I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? I don't know. Ask Junko. Very well. I'll answer that. Ask Junko. Ask her what she did with her sister. Still livid. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information <laughs> to make the trial fair. Sure it is. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? Right. <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Wow. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body, that is impossible. Oh. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Yep. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaido switch places with? There's only one person. Come on, think. Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at that time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... The third party, the mastermind, the other person in the hangar. Kokichi. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Come on. It's not that hard, Maki. Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had, had, had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Come on, guys! It's simple as it's as simple as adding one plus one. If Kokichi was the only one other person there, Eggman's Gambit. Hmm? How are the bodies swapped? Okay. Uh. Wrong victim. Wait, no. Ugh. All right, let me see. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's the second word. Victim is the second word, but I don't know the first. Or maybe it's the first. Okay, it's the first, good. Huzzah, a mini game of quality. Yes, I'm making a reference to a comment I made. Okay, now what? Victim... H? 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 L? H! Okay, um... Uh, we need a vowel now. E? Oh my god, I'm getting... Victim help- Oh, the victim helped! Oh, the victim helped. Here we go. The victim helped. I can't believe I overlooked this. Hold on, guys. I need to see something in my Discord in my phone. Oh, 
Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I was just sent some ev uh, photographic evidence then uh, that somebody was cheating on something. <laughs> P pretty funny, actually. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Of course. Which means we were working together. Huh? Working together? Think about it. The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. Do I really need to say anything else? The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. Yep. They switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Wait a minute. Well, that means Kokichi died. The person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. Well then. An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Victim and culprit cooperated? Just recall what Kokichi said. It's not that hard. It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. Well, I wouldn't call him that. So, have you realized who done it yet? Yeah. The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't filled me. The culprit is inside that exercise. It can only be them. I don't want to do this. It is him. Oh. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaiko, which means which means he's the culprit. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera. At first, if the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? I don't want to believe it myself. So the culprit for this case is... Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. It's the only option that makes sense. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. I knew this was gonna happen. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Maki, don't do this. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Yeah, it's true, but- There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. I, I know you want to believe that, Maki. But- And I know you don't want Kaito to be executed. Trust me, I don't either. I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. You are. You still are. I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? He's the culprit. You're trying to help him get away. There was only one antidote. So it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. It, this game is pulling another 3-1. It has... it has... This 
is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. I, f I feel an argument armament incoming. Maki? I'm sorry. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely... no doubt. That's... the truth. I thought so. Maki's trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is, Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I'll tr I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. Huh? What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. You can't be serious. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. I knew it. Let's do this. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. Already? There's no other possibility. All right. What do you know? I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. Hmm. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. All right. Doesn't matter what you say. I'm terribly sorry about that. Like, seriously, I was not expecting so I was not expecting someone to just burst through without knocking first. Anyway, back to this. Telling you this is the truth. Whoa, what? You keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. Sorry, Maki. What you say? I'm telling you this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. Oh, sorry. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Oh. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. Okay. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I won't run away from the truth anymore. This is weird. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. Here we go. Final blow. Hmm. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. I... I'm really sorry, Maki. Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. I'm really sorry, Maki. I really didn't want to do this either. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. 
I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. Why? There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Yeah, but why? His cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Yeah. Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? Yeah. I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. He wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. <laughs> Nagito says hello. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Why would he go that far? Why? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. Yeah, that's probably it, actually. But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Like always. Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Oh my god. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't <laughs> put Kokichi's words <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> of course. Huh? But why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. Yeah. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, we must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. It's time for the closing argument, isn't it? Let's go. I'll see you guys at the end. Here we go. This is the, the truth, truth of, of the, the case. case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Oh my god. I feel shitty already. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosol hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. Yeah, the crossbow. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. Gotta think Maki. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Yep. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. 
Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. When Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. Sorry, um, I am not commenting much. I'm just trying to process this whole thing. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi wheeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. Maki. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. Whoa. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. Right. To keep Maki from becoming the Blacken, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The Ugh. culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Man, so much of this is screwed up. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap, and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems, and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. Of course he did. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. Yeah, in his, in, in his eyes, winning the game was never about... It was never about being the last person standing. It was about outsmarting the system. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar, so she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. Yep. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi dragged down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. The Electro Bomb. An Electro Bomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an Electro Bomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. Oh boy. <clears throat> Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. 
In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Yep. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. <sighs> ah, request is a generous term. Yeah. It was more like blackmail. It was, it was blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. And what a plan, man. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. At least he was suffering. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. Yep. The two then switched places, and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit, and started up the press and camera. Mm -hmm. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life, because his trick required their cooperation. Hmm. There we go. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, yeah. making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with faded breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? Hold on, guys. I gotta go for for a while. Um, I'm gonna save the game here, and I'm gonna cut the the recording. And when I come back, I'll finish up Class Trial Five. Till then.
Welcome back guys, um, sorry I had to take a quick shower since I'm uh, gonna be grabbing something to eat later on. And uh, yeah, the scorching hot temperature of my room kind of made, kind of made me need to do that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, back to class trial 5, we discovered that Kaito was the culprit. Ah, oh, this, this won't be fun. I must reluctantly agree with- Oh! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Sorry about that. I... I, uh... Sorry, Kibo. Huh? You're... still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would've admitted it by now. Hmm... Is Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. It, you know, Shuichi's character growth astonishes me. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Mur Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? I don't know. It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is... <sighs> not just possible. It's the actual truth. I doubt it. Well, it's true, there's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. Yeah, faith. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. <sighs> I really didn't want us to end this way. Well, I don't care either. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. True. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, you won't be able to execute anyone, right? Sorry if you hear some people outside. Again, windows open. Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing. <sighs> Kaito. Ruin. See, so that's your objective. You mean you mean to ruin the killing game itself? So that's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate hmm. detective's airtight logic on my side. I didn't really predict anything in this trial. I mean, not that's not entirely true, but this was this was insane. This was just insane. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. Hold on, guys. God, there's just so many people outside. Again, any uh, apologies for any uh, background noise. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito, not as a detective, but as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? Like oh? One last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's... you know to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. Oh? I just need you all to listen. Why is Hope vs. Despair playing? 
a non-stop debate? Okay. All right, let's pin this down. What? Who is inside that exosol? Kaito, hmm? right? All right. That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the one who died. Hmm. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. All right. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust you, Ichi. Okay. So what is it? Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that we've determined up to now. What if I turned it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie. Oh boy. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? Oh, I think I know. There it is! I knew it! Oh boy. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. Oh my god! That is genius! What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is. Kokichi. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Oh my god. Huh? Alright, good thing you can't hear. Alright, nice. The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Cookie. I thought we were done, honestly. Well, guess not. Guess this will be a night session then. You saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. I see what you're doing, Shuichi. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, God. Hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. I'm sorry, guys. Really. I'm, I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Kaito. Oh god. Well then. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosol. He's the culprit. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming, but as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Thanks. Huh? It's over. There he is. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Kaito. Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. Kaito. Alright, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? Oh, it's starting. I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. Oh That's my god. Detectives do. He knew he'd get it right. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started. <laughs> well said. 
Let's get this started, then! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting, voting time. time! I really don't want to do this kind of toad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. We all know it's the right one. Oh, this lagged a lot. Okay then, I'm sorry for the lag. I didn't expect even the, the verdict to be laggy. Well... Hold on, is someone knocking on my door? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Well... Well, if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can screw this up. Absolutely right! The black hen who killed Kokichiola is Kaito Momota. You all got it right! Hmm. So you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. <laughs> what a relief! Well, I knew you guys could wouldn't get it wrong. But you know... But man, was it hard to act like Okichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script, he wrote the whole thing. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. The back roots. Wow. Okay. But even so, I still had to, I still had to ad lib. You guys couldn't tell them, huh? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Oh fuck! It's, is it that time already? Well, I guess I can stay for a little while. Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing him, so why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Was she protecting Kaito or just believing in him like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean, then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it, you know? I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control. I had Mew make it. This mysterious message in the courtyard using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that was preparation. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? What the hell? Why'd you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind. Shit! What's to end this boring killing game? Huh? To end it? I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. 
I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Oh. Because the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that everything's ruined. Hold on. The true mastermind instigated it. So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions too. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? The flashback light! I see. It wasn't pure accident that you found the thing. But that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was... To save Kaito, wasn't it? Because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be... Maybe making you remember the truth was what the Mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true Mastermind had us use the flashback lights. So we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair? Which means... So the flashback light itself was, was the true Mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to, to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true Mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair. We're all students of Hope's Peak Academy, and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about that flashback light. I guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyway, like I was saying... Then who's the true mastermind? Who knows? I don't know either. Hold on. Well, guys, um... <laughs> I guess my schedule's finally up. Um... Seriously, this is so... Uh, this is so abnormal. <laughs> I think... I can only think of, of two class trials that I've been through like this. Like, in separate parts. And I'll try to keep the memory fresh. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna eat, <laughs> obviously, because that wouldn't make any sense. Hope I hope I'm talking. Yes, I am. Nice. And um, after dinner, I'm just gonna return here and finish what I started. I won't end this recording session without finishing 3-5. Until then. Welcome back, guys. It's, um, it's been roughly, I'd say, one hour and a half since I left. I've had dinner. I've changed clothes. I'm fully prepared to cry my eyes out. I know. I know. And again, the food seems uh, seemed to energize me a bit, so maybe I'll be able to express my full feelings this time. I don't know. Uh, in any case, uh... We now know who did this, and let's just get into this. I, I, I just want to finish it as soon as possible. I've, I've already read this, so here we go. But... That it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless, unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. I don't really get it, but is this the, the plan to throw off the mastermind? Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you <laughs> to kill me. What? Uh. I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trip Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If you ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself, and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But... That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blackened was? And this is what he said. Oh boy, here we go. Well, you know. Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. 
Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler for the, about the rules. There would be no point in making this, ga this a game in the first place. But... But Monokuma's been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. Okay. What did you say? So, this is some kind of show? But... But who'd be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right, the flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Nah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why do you have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no doubt. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. Rude. It was a motorcycle. <laughs> That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Okichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> <laughs> who can say? Yeah. Yeah. Why won't you tell us? We were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then. Then here's another question. Who are you really? If Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind, then who's the tr the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Uh, Why you? I'm just too cute. What? Huh? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but. Why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Yeah, see, this is what I don't get either. Kaito hated Kokichi. Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He'd be better off. He's better off dead anyway. Nah. It's kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? What? Jeez. Jeez, I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the blackened. And her crime would be exposed so easily. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? Damn it! That's plain dirty! So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no debts I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing game. That's why you have to kill me, so we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. We'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. <laughs> I can't replicate that last one. Oh crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know I wasn't boring. Oh! That punk. And he blackmailed you by using me? Nah. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the, ro the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to send us a, a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't, even, I didn't have any other choice. Because I'm out of time. What? Time? Could it be... Kaito! You mean your health? What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. Ugh, my bad. That was a lie. Hold on, why? Okay then. Huh? Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, can't be. But you know, I gotta wonder how this happened. I, 
don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, that that means Could it be This might be the virus. What? Virus? Right. If I remember correctly. One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Ospeak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be This must have something to do with the virus? Hector didn't use that flashback light, so we might not remember it. But, but weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher Project. I'll tell you, the truth. you could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. What did you say? What? <sighs> Kaito is infected with the virus? How could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to, to Gokichi's plan. But you know... You know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. So Gokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Shuichi'd see right through it in the end. Huh? What? Well done! <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then. Kaito, did you? That's right. Yeah. I knew you guys would have it would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Gokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up, if, even if I messed stuff up during the trial, I knew Shuichi would see the truth. That's my sidekick. Yeah, <laughs> just what I'd expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then... If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah. Nah, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? Why? I mean, because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind. Got it. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Hold on guys, I'm just doing something here to make sure this game runs a bit better, even if it is a little. Uh, I just need to go to details, uh, dungeon3win.exe, priority, high. Alright, that should do it, even if it lags a bit at first. We got, yeah. Behind this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But... You talk as if he was your partner, when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap, to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. Hey! It's getting harder to breathe, so... Please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. Oh. That was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little. The bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the shit's enjoying it. They all pissed me off. That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Kokichi? Huh? Kokichi said that? That could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Is it really a lie? I think his dying words may have, may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! No, it's definitely a lie. It's not the type to shed real tears. But... I wonder which one it is. A lie or the truth. Even now at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. Maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of the lie. That pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now finally, I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What, me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know. Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey. No, Kaito, that's not true. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. What you made when you made me your sidekick, you said you'd take the responsibility. 
And that that's why I can all I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be Oh, here it goes. Oh, Kaito. Kaito! Kaito! What? Kaito, are you okay? Ugh! How can I be okay? I'm about to die. You sure are, Bucko, because it's punishment time! Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Oh my god. Oh, oh you planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen if you do that, don't you? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. Indeed. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. No, stop! Kaito! No, Kaito, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaito. That's it. I don't care if you're sick, I don't care if you're dying, I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> what was that? What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just thinking about life. And how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean. Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life... Then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice! If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! What are you talking- Hey! Alright kids, time for your grand re-entrance! Huh? <laughs> Why did you do this? I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it or say it, it's still Monotaro. Oh. What the? That's totally a lie. By the way. What the hell's going on? I could have sworn that there was more of you as a chumps before. Yeah. Fuck if I know! Let's destroy Monodam now. This sad sack is bumming me the fuck out. They're all back. What did you say? What the? Weren't all the monocubs completely destroyed? Hey, um... Those old monocubs were destroyed. These monocubs are the latest model. They still got their factory settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. And now we cannot... Uh, we cannot oppose Monokuma anymore because he has the exosols. Thank you so much! But who cares? Not that my cubs are back. I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. You brought them back with the Anuin like that? You guys are just as replaceable! Maybe not as replaceable as the Monocubs. But finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than it might think. Finding other people? I've got no idea what's going on or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're so fucking lovable and shit. Except Monodem, of course. Oh, do you know what else this means? Now that the Monocubs are back, I've got my Exosol entourage to protect me again. Still want to defy me now? This is bad. If he's got the Exosols again... So what? I won't let you kill him. It doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. Stop! Even if you fight the Exosols, you'll just get killed, dammit! The remote control and the last Electro Bomb were crushed in the press! No. No, I won't give up. Maki roll! You? Enough for it! I... I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill- Oh, sorry. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I fought to protect someone. Huh? And I've never been given a nickname like Maki roll before either. What? You! I... And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. And I've never- Maki! Fallen for someone before. What? Maki roll! Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill him. That's why that is why I I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry. But that's not an option. I don't have as much time as left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I I, I... Hey, so... hey, Makiro, I asked you before, what's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much, 
You didn't even like yourself a little. And that was and wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about but it. But not anymore now, huh? You're alright now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. I was wondering when the emotional jab was gonna come. Aki. Come on, man. Hey, hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. Alright, Kaito. I won't cry. I will try I'll try to do that myself. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I... I can't cry even if I wanted to. <sighs> hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay! Can do! Dun, dun, dun. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Hey. Let me just... Let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Get ready! You better get ready! My friends aren't gonna lose to you. <sighs> That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We'll end it. So please, don't worry. Shuichi. And Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible is possible. Don't forget, the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. I promised. Maki roll. How, how long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> uh, of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. All right then. Let's end this with a bang. A special punishment. A special punishment suited for, to the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Oh yeah? Well, screw you! I'm not gonna die the way you want! It's punishment time! Here we go, the laggy execution scene, I'm sorry guys. <gasps> Wait. Again, I'm sorry for the lag. Oh, it is blast off school ignition, second ignition. Oh my god. They reused it. Oh my god, it went downward. Oh my god. It's going to the core, isn't it? It really is a, re a reuse of the execution. Error confirmed. He died before the execution was over. Kibo! I I'm sorry for the delay again. Sorry guys, I'll be right back.
Uh, apologies. I need a, I need a bit. Right? Kimo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect. Well, I'm. I'm fine. More importantly. Yeah, he he didn't he wasn't executed. He died by, he died because of the virus. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset the Kaito one? Eh? Yeah. Eh? What do you mean Kaito one? Because he died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay. That's right. Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaito's victory. <laughs> what? We lost. <laughs> I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Oh yeah, no shit! Hey! They didn't written in the school regulations. That's right! The killing game will go on until there are just one black and or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. I just want an entertaining killing game, but you're suddenly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I will end this killing game. That's it. And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear I will give my promise. You're right. Yeah, we're not going to let anyone else die. Hmm. Who's even gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. Hmm. Hmm. You could cut this tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually, feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops. Yo, Pops, fill us in. We want to help you out. Uh, oh, Manosuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. You're so. Oh, I just can't help myself around you, cute little cubs. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I've spent a whole month telling you about what you missed. <laughs> a whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with uh, with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell. <laughs> hmm? Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard. Why you? We don't want it. Just go away. You're really By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to attend the killing game. No way! Nah, -uh. This game is gonna keep going and going for a long time! Doing his renting, Monokuma took out. Huh? Oh, a flashback light! He pressed it. Uh oh. Uh. What? What? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> This flashback light has a special effect! You'll remember soon enough. Remember that despair is the only choice you have! And that hope doesn't exist here at all! The killing game will never end! What has happened? And then Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. Not just Kaito. Kokichi, too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Oh! <gasps> Why? Why is she here? The killing game will never end. Never, ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It will repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> No. <laughs> She's back. Such despair. No. Why are you here?
Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard. The place where Kaito and I would train together? My heart felt crushed. And the, all the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But I... Still, I... I stood there. What time is it? Okay, it's good. Well... What are you doing? Ah, oh. uh, Maki. Hey. So you came too? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I... I ended up betraying someone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. Lonely. It feels so lonely and so sad, I... I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't... If he hadn't have... If he hadn't have been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I've, I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want us to see him don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Huh? Ah, so you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Oh, I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Oh. Tsumugi, Himiko! Um And if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing in together! Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah! Himiko and I promised Kaito! Okay! Yeah! And we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing game! Alright! We can't afford to listen to this pair! Okay! Yeah, absolutely! Manakuma said that there's no hope anywhere, but he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope! Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right, I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. The spirit cannot defeat me. I will, I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. I promise I wouldn't. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. I promised I wouldn't cry. Hey! Oh, by the way. What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo? I don't know. Yeah, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But... but the rest of us are here, I kinda wish he'd come too. Yeah, what happened to Kibo? He was it's quiet. That's Kibo. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. Mm -hmm. I can't hear it anymore. Oh. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. That's my boy. I... I will end this. Oh, that's not my boy, okay. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Okay, what's happening? 
What the fuck? Uh, okay. And I will destroy it. Oh my god. Chapter 5 To be continued Signing off Achievement unlocked That was... that was crazy This whole thing was crazy, this whole chapter was fucking insane Okay, I gotta give it my thoughts, even though it's pretty late now, <laughs> but this is bar none, the single best chapter in the series so far. I I'm not even kidding. I'm not even, I'm not even pulling your leg this time, I'm actually being serious. Danganronpa 2's chapter 5 was good. It was really good. It was fucking amazing. It was phenomenal. I thought it'd be... I thought it'd be almost impossible to top it. V3 pulled it off. I don't know how, why, when... I have no idea what just happened. But V3's chapter 5... V3's chapter 5 was something else. And I'm still trying to process everything. <sighs> Kaito and Kokichi are dead. There are five students left. Gibo is going on a rampage, apparently, and chapter six, as we all know, will only have investigation. Things are finally heating up. Things are getting interesting. Can't wait to see what this game has to do, has to give me. I can't wait for what this game has to offer next. Unfortunately, though, I can't. I won't be able to record for a while, but. This spree was needed. I had lost some vitality to V3 lately, and coming back playing chapters 4 and 5 in quick succession, I really needed to do that. It revitalized my, my, my will to play this game. So, I'll see if I can contain myself to not play chapter 6 immediately. Uh, my hard drive needs to rest, <laughs> and uh, I still need to see if I can fix most of the issues. But anyways, that'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. If you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell, you know what to do. Also, if you want to join my Discord server for absolutely no reason at all, link is in the description below. Guys, until next time, peace.